Hey everyone, today I want to do something a little different by taking you on a trip down memory lane back to August 2015 when I hit record for the very first episode of the Clear Descent podcast. It's kind of crazy to think it's been nine years since then and what started as a fun side project pushed myself to share some Wi-Fi knowledge and has turned into something way bigger and honestly a, a way more rewarding than I've ever imagined. Clear Descent started because I wanted to connect with the Wi-Fi community on Twitter, dive into different Wi-Fi topics, and have conversations with others in the industry. Fast forward to today, and I'm, I'm so thankful for everything this journey has brought me, especially the awesome people I've met along the way. All right, let's chat about some of the things I've learned over these nine years. These aren't just podcasting tips, they're lessons that I think can help anyone. First up, meeting new people. One of the coolest things about this podcast has been connecting with so many great people in the Wi-Fi. And I mean, look at Francois Verges. He was just someone that I met on social media. I brought him on for an episode, and now he's a co-host. Whether it's through interviews, discussions, or just chatting, some of these connections have been pretty huge for me. And if there's one thing that I've learned, it's that reaching out to others makes you grow not just professionally, but personally too. Next, learning new tech. Podcasting has pushed me to really dig into a lot of different topics, sometimes before they're even mainstream. So when you're sharing info with an audience, you can't just skim the surface, you have to really get into it. And that's something I'd tell any network engineer, just don't be afraid to check out some new technologies, even if it's outside of your usual wheelhouse. You'd be surprised at how much you can learn and how much you can offer. The third lesson, planning and prep. Every episode starts with a lot of planning. It's not just about pressing record. It's really knowing your stuff, preparing good questions, and also making sure the content is worth your time. This isn't just a podcasting thing. It's something that's helped me out in uh, some of my regular work too. And finally, consistency. If there's one piece of advice I could give anyone thinking about starting a podcast, YouTube channel, or whatever, it's this. Consistency is everything. Yeah, there have been times when I've been too busy, and sure, we've missed a few episodes, but showing up regularly is key. It builds trust with your audience, and over time, it's what turns a small project into something that really matters. Now let's talk about some of the highlights from these nine years. Getting sponsorships was a big deal, not just for financial support, but because it showed that what we're doing actually matters to people. Early access to new products and tech has also been pretty sweet. It's kept me ahead of the game and allowed me to share some fresh insights. Giving feedback directly to vendors has been another cool part, helping shape some of the tools and tech that we use every day. But honestly, the best part has been the friendships and connections I've made. Some of these folks that have become lifelong friends. And of course, new clients. The podcast has opened up doors I didn't even know were there when I started. So as I think about what's next, I'm more excited than ever to keep this going. If there's one, one thing I want you to take away from my story, it's this. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Whether it is starting a new podcast, publishing a video, learning new tech, or just reaching out to someone new, just go for it. The rewards, both personally and professionally, are absolutely worth it. Here's to many more years of learning, connecting, and growing. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I will catch you on the next episode.